Hi, I'm Vicky Vortex. Welcome back to my Healthy Mistakes series on the things that I used to do in the name of health. I used to do keto and intermittent fasting to lose weight. And today I'm going to explain to you why both practices are actually detrimental to our health. While some benefits can be gained from any diet that eliminates processed foods like candies, cookies and fried foods, there is only so far that a high protein, low carbs diet can take you when it comes to health. Following a keto diet is damaging for your body and your brain, even if it's a plant-based keto diet. Some people experience weight loss on the keto diet due to the loss of water retention, but it's important to understand that these improvements are short-lived. The problem is, it's not possible for your body to go into ketosis if you are eating any form of sugar found in nuts, seeds, avocado, cheese, butter, tomato or green juices. Unless someone is eating only bacon three times a day, which I don't recommend, they're not entering ketosis. In fact, you don't run on fat, we run on glucose. If it was true that our body could flip from burning glucose into burning fat for energy, then it would be impossible for someone who's overweight to starve. Fat does not convert into usable material to, for our bodies. Anyone can be malnourished without the glucose that are bountiful in carbohydrates such as fruit and starchy vegetables like potatoes, leafy greens and herbs. These are what the medical medium calls the CCCs, critical clean carbohydrates, which bring healing. We need the nutrients, antioxidants, phytochemicals, vitamins and minerals that are packed in berries, vegetables, coconut water and raw honey. In the early 30s, the meat industry and the government joined forces to promote protein. Around this time, meat was becoming industrialized and was promoted as critical, even though protein is never lacking as it's abundant in nuts, fruit and vegetables. Nowadays, People continue to consume an excessive amount of animal protein, which translates into animal fat. There is no such thing as lean meat, actually. This increases the fat content in our blood, which leads to a lack of oxygen to our heart and brain, leading to strokes and heart attacks. Also, glucose can't enter into our cells when it's wrapped in fat molecules then insulin rises in an effort to get the much-needed glucose into our cells, which leads to insulin resistance. You can say that diabetes is actually caused by a high-fat and not a high-carbs diet. In fact, insulin resistance happens when you have fat together with carbs, such as ice cream, fries or pork and rice, for example. However, the true cause of the most chronic health conditions, including weight gain, are actually viruses, bacteria, heavy metals and toxic chemicals. Diets that are high in fats and protein are a huge burden to our liver that is already working overtime dealing with these toxins. Now, people on keto keeping fats and protein high and taking all the sugars out, including fruit and vegetables, are denying their livers of any healing. The real issue for chronic illnesses, diabetes and weight gain is a sluggish fatty liver that is overloaded. People tend to do intermittent fasting along with keto. Fasting offers a reprieve from the lack of oxygen while filling their depleted energy levels with bulletproof coffee, which is coffee mixed with butter, to get through the day. Consuming caffeine, as well as having low blood sugar from fasting, floods our body with adrenaline. 
which is secreted in an effort to clean up your blood as there is too much fat in the bloodstream from the keto diet. Adrenaline is corrosive, further burdening our liver, making us sicker and fatter in the long run. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the link below for my blog or log on to vickyvortex.com for more details. Until next time, stay healthy, stay vibrant. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.